the Lord had something in, in his mind and he had your life in his mind. If you believe in Jesus Christ, he had you in himself. And so, in anything that you are doing today, even in believing in him, there is something that the Lord wants to bring to our awareness that he had a plan over your life. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Here we are again today for our favorite show, The Marvelous Believers Show, where we always come to learn who we are in Christ, what Christ has done for us, what Christ has made us. And I always say he has simply made us marvelous for lack of better words or other words we just conclude we are marvelous we have been made so we remain so and who that is who we are i am your host lucy lepore and today i am with our guest again last week he was such a blessing he was such a blessing to all of us just in case you missed that show you can go back after this show and Check on the Marvelous Believer show. Last week, you are going to find us there with Minister Bonnie Glorious. He was such a blessing. And I know tonight, God has a word for you. Just stay tuned. Let the Lord speak to you. Allow the Lord to speak to you. Allow the Lord to love you. Allow the Lord to embrace you. Allow the Lord to saturate you in his truth and his love. So welcome, Minister Bonnie Glorious. Thank you so we are much. so happy that you are here again. Uh -huh. And uh, it's always a pleasure. So you can just take over. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Lucy. I really appreciate that. And you are blessed. <laughs> you are Amen. a blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, it's one of the most good things to know that the Bible says that beautiful are the feet that minister the good news and you are such an ambassador of Christ. So we really appreciate that. And the Lord is good to you and is going to fill you with glory. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise the Lord again. My name is Bonnie Glorious, and I'm so blessed. Hallelujah. I love what the Lord wants to do tonight, and he's up to something big. Hallelujah. Mm. And whoever is tuning in, wherever you are, <laughs> maybe it's in the morning, but wherever you are, know that the Lord loves you so much, and today he wants to show us something so bright and so good. And so, if you are ready, with a pen and a notebook, as we go deeper into the word of God, let us start with a word of prayer in Jesus' name. Dear Lord Jesus, we are so grateful. We are so delighted, our Father. We are so happy, our Lord, in Jesus' name. Because of what you are doing in our times, our Father, we live in the most blessed times in human history, where you have decided that you are going to pour out your glory in all the others, the waters covers the sea. And so today, thank you even as you continue to pour out your life and your love towards your people. You are a wonderful Lord. You are a good Father. We thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, and so... Uh, allow me to begin <laughs> from a wonderful place of showing you that uh, th th there's something that the Lord has been ministering to me for quite some time now, and I know it's what he wants us to understand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's concerning the believer. Praise the Lord. The Lord has had in his mind, uh, he had a project, something people call project, and he has had someone in his mind. He has had the believer in his mind before the creation of the world until when that time when Jesus Christ came and even after the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And from the book of Genesis, we can see that it is God himself who decided to create man in his own image and after his own likeness. Praise the Lord. He says, he says to those that were with him, he says, let us make man in our own image after our own likeness. And then he says, this is the mind of God being shared to us. And this is his mind towards us even today. He says that let them have dominion over the birds of the air, over the fishes of the sea, over all creeping things and all things that are on the earth. Praise the Lord. So the Lord had something in his mind and he had your life in his mind. If you believe in Jesus, Jesus Christ, he had you in himself, hallelujah, yeah. and he had drafted you, praise the Lord, he had you in sketch, he had you in drawing, and he had you in his mind, hallelujah, he had you in his thinking, and even in feeling, he had you in his mind, praise the Lord, and there's something that he starts by explaining to us through Apostle Paul in the book of Ephesians, hallelujah, and this is to confirm what he's saying to us today, that he had us in his own mind, hallelujah, and in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, Ephesians chapter 1, from verse 3 
I'm reading from the King James Version. He says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He continues to say that according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Hallelujah. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. So God had the believer in his mind. God had you in his mind. Hallelujah. He had a certain plan which he wanted to come and fulfill in a human person in a human personality hallelujah he had you in mind he was thinking about you and so in anything that you are doing today even in believing in him there's something that the lord wants to bring to our awareness that it did not start with you Amen. hallelujah Amen. he had a plan over your life hallelujah Amen. we know a common verse that says that in the book of jeremiah 29 verse 11 he says that for i alone knows the plan that i have for you hallelujah god himself he had something in drawing hallelujah and so for us to understand ourselves where we are and where we are headed to we have to go back to the original plan of the one who the plan came from hallelujah the bible calls him the father of whom the whole world in heaven and earth is named after so that means that god is the originator of life <laughs> hallelujah he means that the lord god the father of glory he's the one where he's the one from whom we originate from hallelujah mm -hmm. and so if we originate from him we have to go back to him again so as to understand what he had in mind hallelujah god had in mind the victorious life a marvelous life not only for some few mentioned people or for a certain pointed people but for all of us who believe in Christ Jesus hallelujah from your birth to your continual in life until the end God had a plan he had you in mind hallelujah when it comes to giving birth or to producing the believer God comes and lays down the platform and mm. shows us how the believer will come to being hallelujah he says in the book of John in the book of John, the Gospel of John, the Gospel of John chapter 1, from verse 1, uh, I will read through to verse 4, hallelujah, or to verse 5. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, hallelujah, praise the Lord. So he shows that before we came to the place, before we landed to the place, there is something that was happening there in the beginning. And what was happening in the beginning was the word of God. That in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God himself. He continues to say, The same was in the beginning with God. And all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that has been made hallelujah there is something that was with god there is something that was in god and that was the word of god hallelujah so he's trying to explain now when the, the, the life of jesus christ the life of our lord jesus christ he was there before he came to be in the world hallelujah before he became a human body he was there in the beginning and so he's saying that all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that has been made hallelujah and then he continues to say in him was life and that life was the light of men praise the lord now when we come to the place of light it is the place of directing hallelujah for us to know where we are headed to there is a light that is shed for us uh, maybe if you're planning something, there's a certain knowledge which is shared for you mm -hmm. to see what will happen later on or where you are headed to. Hallelujah. So he says that in the word of God, who was in the beginning with God, he says in him was life and that life was the light of men. He says that that light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended it not. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So in the place of the absence of light, in the place of the absence of the life which was in God, there is a darkness that reigns in a human in a person's life. Hallelujah. There is a darkness that is present inside of a life that is outside this light. Mm -hmm. 
praise the Lord. But now he says that in that light, in him was life, and that light was the light of men. He continues to say that that light shines in darkness. Praise the Lord. When the light of that life comes inside of a human soul, it shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it at any time. Hallelujah. We have seen that there is something that happened in the beginning and that was the death of a man. Hallelujah. There was darkness that was present there after the fall of man. The Bible says that in the beginning, in those days of the beginning, that there is a certain sin that was introduced to the world. Hallelujah. That through one man, sin entered the world and death entered through sin. Hallelujah. And so all men were made sinners and all men were drawn to the place of a darkness. Praise the Lord. Because he's showing that it, there is a light that shines. Mm. Shine is present continuous. So meaning, yes, there is a light that continues to shine, but before the light is shining, there is a darkness that was reigning there. Mm. Ah, praise the Lord. Mm. And so this, this is taking us somewhere, showing that there is somewhere that the word of God is taking us with this portion of scripture, that when that light shines in darkness, it does not, darkness does not comprehend or understand that light. Hallelujah. And so in every human being, who is not yet awakened to the plan of God, as we had begun with, if there is any man who is around this world, who is not awakened to the plan of God, he still lives in a certain darkness. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. But now, according to the word of God, the direction of the word of God is showing us that even if a person is in darkness, there is a light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's, there's a place in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 60. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are, we are trying to elaborate on a certain darkness that is there in any human being's life mm. who has not yet received the light of God. Hallelujah. He says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 2, he says, Behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Maybe for context matters, let us start from verse 1. He says, arise, comma, he says, shine. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. There is a place of arising, and when the human being makes his will available for arising, there is something that happens in consequence of rising. That is shining. Hallelujah. So when you arise, <laughs> there is a shining that comes with it. Hallelujah. So when your will is awakened to arising, then there is a shining that happens. Then he says, for your light is come. Showing that, yes, there is a darkness that was there, but God has introduced a certain light. He says that a light is come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Praise the Lord. So there's a glory that has risen, but it will not take consequence until you make up to your will to arise. Praise the Lord. And what is the place of arising? The place of arising is understanding the plan of God. Hallelujah. He continues to say, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Yes, there is a darkness that is covering the earth. But as long as there is a light that the Lord has lightened, he says, and gross darkness, the people. There is a darkness that has covered the earth. And a gross one, which is more deep than the light that was upon the earth. <laughs> but now a gross one has it is upon the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you. Hallelujah. And his glory shall be seen upon you. Praise the Lord. So he's showing that, yes, there is a light. There is a darkness that was there. Hallelujah. And it's the high calling of now where we are made believers. Hallelujah. There is no making of a believer until we come to the point of understanding. Hallelujah. When we go back to the original plan of God, hallelujah. God had laid a plan, but now the fall of man brought darkness in the presence of men. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But now God did not just keep quiet for darkness to continue reigning. Hallelujah. But now there is a light that the Lord has brought. He says, in him was life and that life was the light of men. And then that light shines. And when the light shines, 
darkness does not comprehend it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wow. Hallelujah. This is so wonderful. And this light is not defined from somewhere else. He continues to show us who is the light. Hallelujah. He says, and the light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Verse 6, he says, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. Yeah, there is a person who has been sent from God and his name is John. He says, the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. John is a witness. Mm. Uh, he, he, necessarily, he's not giving witness. Sometimes we confuse giving witness and being the witness. Hallelujah. Mm. And we'll see something there where, where now that light shines upon us. What happens? Hallelujah. He says, John came to bear witness of the light, but he was not the actual light. Verse 8, he says, he's not the light, but mm. he was sent to bear witness of that light. Hallelujah. Mm. And then he says that that was the true light which lights every man that comes into the world. Praise the Lord. Uh, in our transitioning tonight, I am sure you have realized something that all men, he's saying that he's the light that lightens every man that comes upon the world, that comes into the world. So that shows a certain figure that all men coming to the world, before they are lightened, there is a darkness that is gross in their lives. Until now, they are enlightened or they are awakened to the light that is present. Hallelujah. And the true light, he is the light that lighteth every man that comes upon the face of the world. Wow, Amen. that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. It is showing us that there is a darkness, but God did not remain at the place of darkness, but he has given a place for the light mm -hmm. and the solution. Hallelujah. He continues to say, uh, now the light, the light was in the world, and the world was made by him, yet the world did not know him. He came, so he now... Now, the light that we had was a life that was in God. The same was the word of God. Now, he is given a personality. Mm. He becomes a person. Mm. <laughs> and when he became a person, he came into the world. And the Bible says that he was in the world, and the world knew him not. Yet, he made the world. But he says, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. So now, there is a lineage that the light came through. But mm -hmm. the light did not recognize. Those yeah, who are yeah. his own did not recognize the light. Mm -hmm. Wow. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is lighting everyone here. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. He's lighting your world. He's lighting your life. He continues to lighten your health, your life, and anything that concerns you. You are blessed because the revelation of that light, it does something for us. Mm -hmm. There is something when we understand the light, mm -hmm. there is something that the light does for us. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. He says, but as many as received him, to them gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Hallelujah. So now, the arising is defined now. When he says arise, then shine, is now defined. There is something that happens when you believe in Jesus Christ. Okay, long story short, <laughs> Jesus Christ is the light. He says, I am the light of the world. Praise the Lord. He says that I am the light. I am the light. And one of the things that are so sure about the light is that the light shines in darkness mm. and darkness does not comprehend it. So now the light comes and gives the human, the human beings a, a, a relevance. He gives them a solution outside the darkness. He says that them that believes in him, he gives a certain power mm. to become the sons of God. The last time we were here, we saw that it is when now the word of God, who is the fullness of God, when he enters a human body, he is called the son of God. And now he enlightens every man that is upon the face of the earth. Do you remember that in the beginning, man was made in the image of God and man was made in the likeness of God? So God had a certain plan. He wanted man in his own living in this world to live as one who carries the character of God. 
who carries the nature of God. And now this nature is given, this light is given when we believe in Jesus Christ. And when we believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become the sons of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I bet today was much of teaching. <laughs> <Powerful>. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. He now, when he comes, he lightens every man that comes upon the world. And now he has enlightened everyone. But now, the place of arising is where he's calling us into. Amen. And what is that arising? He gives us the, the arising here. He says, but as many as received him, to them gave power to become the sons of God. So it's when we believe in Jesus Christ, who is the light who was in God, when we believe in him, he enlightens us. He gives us the, right, the, the, the light and we shine as the light. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Then he says, which were born not of the will of blood, now defining the believer, he's not born, he's born not of blood, not the will of the flesh, but the will of God, but the will of God. Mm. The will of God is the plan of God. The will is, is found in the place of the mind. So God had this in mind that there is, a, there is another birth, mm. not of blood, mm. but the birth that you are born again. Mm. And now when you believe, when you receive that Jesus Christ, because he continues to say that now the word that we were speaking about who was in the beginning, verse 14, now that word was made flesh. He became a human being. He became a person and he dwelt among us and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father. He says, full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. And then verse 16, he says, and of the fullness of that light and of his fullness have we all received and grace for grace. Hallelujah. When now you believe in Jesus Christ, what happens? Because he came to his own and his own did not believe in him. So he did not come and he, he did not become the light to his own. But as many as believed in him, gave he the power to become the sons of God. And to, you have been made. It is a calling for you to believe. And when you believe, you receive him. And when you receive him, you receive of the fullness of of the fullness of that light Amen. okay that light now brings us to another place he says in him was life and that life was the light of men so it's a life so when that life came to us we have received the fullness of that life Hallelujah. praise the lord Maracasha. hallelujah and so today the lord is inviting us to that light Maracasha. maybe you are there you have never received that life you have never believed in jesus christ you have not yet received him as Lord and Savior. It's a place of believing. Mm. You believe in him and then believing comes by hearing. So you, I know you've heard and now you have believed. And now you, have, you receive him by believing. And so after you receive him, you can repeat these words after me. You can say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me. Thank you for giving me a higher life. Yeah, I, 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 I say that I, I am in darkness and I've been in darkness. But now, if believing in you gives and enlightens me, I believe in you. Thank you for dying for me at the cross. Thank you for re resurrecting again for me. Mm. And I believe that we were, I was risen together with you. Mm -hmm. And now I have received that life mm. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Amen. Jesus. And now, of his fullness, have you received grace for yeah. grace? Amen. Amen. Yes, Pastor Lucy. Amen. Amen. Wow. That is powerful. That is powerful. If you have made that prayer, I promise you of his fullness yeah. have you received. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You have just given, allowed Jesus in your life now. You of his fullness, the fullest that it can ever be. Yeah. Have you received? That light, that light that comes with life, that light that brings life, you have received of his fullness. Yeah. Glory be to Jesus and congratulations if you have made that prayer. It will never leave you. That is a life that will never leave you. That is a light that will continue. He has just said shine. This is a continuous thing. It continues to shine. And you are listening to us. You are a marvelous believer. Let me tell you, that's why Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have life in abundance because he brings light and the fullness of that light brings life. Mm -hmm. You have received life. 
you are a marvelous believer you have life and life in abundance and i just want us to pray i'll still ask uh, mr bonnie glorious to pray for us but believe me you have the bible says darkness cannot comprehend this life yeah. Darkness cannot overtake this life. Mm -hmm. Darkness cannot cover this light. Yeah. Darkness cannot even understand the things that God has, has had in mind. Yeah. Like he has just said, from the beginning God had this in mind. Mm -hmm. It was in the will of God that we will be born not of blood, yeah. but of God. Mm -hmm. This new birth was in the will of God from the beginning. Yeah. This new creation was in the will of God. Yeah. And so what we have received now is light and life. Life and life in abundance. Mm -hmm. If you are there and there is any darkness that has threatened or tried to show up in your life, yeah. it cannot, I promise you, it cannot comprehend. Mm -hmm. We have been called to life and life in abundance. Mm -hmm. Life in abundance is not when you sleep and cry in your pillow. That is not life in abundance. Yeah. That is not the life of a marvelous believer. Yeah. Life in abundance is not when you take pills and pills of tablets. Mm -hmm. That is not the life in abundance that Christ purchased for us. Yeah. He has given us life and life in abundance. Yeah. I told you we shall continue to declare these things until they become. Yeah. The devil is a liar. Yeah. We, can, we are marvelous believers. We have been called into life and life in abundance and so we are going to pray we are going to declare any symptom and the manifestation of darkness in your life it cannot comprehend life uh, light light shines arise and shine marvelous believer so let's just have a closing prayer before we end the show amen praise amen. the lord yeah, let us pray together with you father we thank you we bless your name thank you father for you've had this in mind our lord yes wow it's so wonderful mm -hmm. it's so beautiful to come to the realization of what you have already made us to be our father yes. we are so sorry we repent of where we were saying heal us yet you have already healed mm -hmm. us we were saying that Lord, lighten us. And yet you say, I have already enlightened you. Mm. Sorry, Father, for being contrary to your word. Mm. The, the word is clear that there was a controversy in the land because the Lord, there was no truth in the land. And yet he continues to say that there, my people perish for lacking knowledge. Our Lord Jesus, we thank you because of the enlightenment. Mm. Thank you because of the increase of knowledge. Thank you because of the spirit of wisdom yes. and revelation Amen. in the knowledge of you, our Father. Mm. Thank you for daily you have increased us. You have increased us daily, our Father, yes. in understanding and knowing and comprehending of what you have made us to be, our Father, in the name of Jesus. And now by the virtue of the life that is inside of you, mm. by the virtue of the light that is inside of you, mm. anything that is in form of darkness, any sickness, anything concerning poverty it is now flashed out yes. in jesus name because of who you are he says that he became that you might become and now father we bless your name because we have already become mm. our father mm. and we are metamorphosed into the same Amen. image from one point of glory to another jesus. thank you for your life thank you for your love it is well because of you our father thank you lord jesus thank you because of enlightening everywhere in mm. this world of mm. the, the whole world our father thank you because of the marvelous believer show Thank you because of many are having to come and to tune in our Father and they are understanding the light which you have placed inside of them. Mm. Thank you because of all that are concerned here, our Father. They are blessed, our Father. And of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. There Amen. is an increase daily in Jesus' name Amen. by the virtue of that life because he says that the zeal of the Lord shall perform it. All is well inside of our lives. All is well because of you. Because Jesus Christ, who is the light, is inside of you. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 The zeal of the Lord will perform it. Yeah. will perfect everything about you. Thank you once again for tuning in. It's always a pleasure to have you. We meet again next Monday, same time, 9.45 p.m. on the Marvelous Believers Show, Wema TV. God bless you.